back again with another music video reaction. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you click the thumbnail, you're to check out some Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald just dropped a new song a couple hours ago, actually, I think. So he's on his roll of doing something seeming like every couple weeks. He's coming out with a new song. Pretty sure his most recent song was actually the one with Ben Shapiro. Was it Facts? And that one hit number one and caused a lot of uh, controversy, if you will. I guess. I don't know. It seemed like that song made a lot of sense to me. But, you know, that just is what it is. And that's something that Tom McDonald really loves to uh, rap and sing about in a lot of his songs. In that one specifically with Ben Shapiro. But we've got another new one that I'm hoping is along the same lines with that same kind of messaging kind of coming out there. And this one's called The Machine. Don't know which machine he's talking about. If it's the system or if it's an actual like AI takeover, which Skynet's coming, people. It's coming. But technology makes things so easy. Okay, we're getting off topic here. Let's go ahead and check out The Machine. The machine. All right, let's do it. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. Why the hell can I just be American without getting political? The system gonna suppress us all. They don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture, Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks they're disadvantaged. Tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system and now they burn in books in untraditional ways that has traded newspapers for the digital age now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames that has changed the information and the truth gets erased they keep screaming to wake up but they're all woke not away we know the system has failed us and now the media's fake i swear the I am not a liberal. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. They label people red or blue, divide us. They don't ever help. They want you thinking left or right, so you ain't thinking for yourself. Go ahead and vote, cause both the parties are the same side. Two teams, one coach, controlled by the same guys. Left wing, right wing, both help the same bird fly. Brainwashing everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking the fact checkers? I can answer that one. The people who control the narratives through the platforms. Let me break this down for you, simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place. You're still a rat and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not away. We know the system has failed us and now the media's fake. I swear the government hates us. Having opinions is dangerous. The system built to enslave us only works if we're Republican. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. Divide us because they know that unified we are invincible. Questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. School teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Can't you see that's how they want you to act? That's called conforming to the norm. You don't need freedom for that. I'm not Republican or liberal or left-wing or right-leaning I took the red pills cause that's who's fighting for my freedoms And you don't need to choose to be accepted They both fake teams Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy They keep screaming to wake up But they're all woke not away We know the system has failed us And now the media's fake I swear the government hates us Having opinions is dangerous The system built to enslave us Only works if Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I've said this a lot uh, repeatedly when we're talking about Tom McDonald's music specifically, but other folks too that talk about, you know, thinking critically and not having to be pigeonholed. This actually may be my favorite song of his, and I like a bunch of his songs, but this one is literally like pulling thoughts out of my head and trying to actually put them in form that makes sense because we are literally in a system. I was just talking to my friend today at work about this, the fact that we are basically cultivated to just be in this system and to be in the system and to really just try and do the same thing that everybody else is so that you're stuck in the same hole in the same rut under the same financial situation and stresses everybody else and it just forces us to really 
kind of have miserable lives sometimes. And then when you start talking about the government, they're the ones that are doing it. They're the ones that are in cahoots with the people that are the elites and in power that want to stay in power. And how do you do that? You keep the masses quiet. How do you do that? You make them divided and focus on each other. Why do we have a political system that only has two parties? Okay, you might say, well, there's an independent party, but we all know that nobody in an independent party is actually going to win the election because it's literally set up for that not to be let happen. So you're forced into one camp or the other. Like I, like he was saying in this song, I've said it multiple times on this channel. I am not a political person. I literally don't care what other people do most of the time, as long as you're not forcing me to do anything or trying to tell me how I should think, let alone act. I mean, that's where you really start to draw the line. I mean, there was just the other day I was reading an article where it was talking about a Disney executive was actually blaming the fans for not liking the movies that they've been making because they're like bigots and racist and things like that and how does that make sense at all you're a company that sells a product entertainment to people so you should make things that people want to go see if they don't like it they won't go see it so you're going to blame them for not having good taste or not thinking the same way as you or not thinking something is good, that is not art anymore. That's just called controlling. And just like he's talking about here, this is, we're getting to the point, like I, I understand the initial thought behind the wokeness and just again, being open to people and being accepting. That's a really cool thing and that's good. You can take it to the extremes. The problem is <laughs> people by nature, I think are just kind of crappy in the most part. I had the realization of growing up, you are told and you're taught to conform, like you was talking about in this, in school, you know, do good, do this, you're going to succeed, you'll have this job, you'll have this stuff, you'll keep going, but you're really just feeding into the system and you're not questioning things. And that's because genuinely, for the longest time, I've always thought that humans, especially the ones in power, did have our best interest in mind. As I've gotten older, I've drastically changed that thinking and realized that People in power are just people, and people by nature are kind of crappy, especially the vast majority of the ones that are in power, because I'm sure power is very intoxicating, and you know, you want more, and you definitely don't want it to go away, but it, this is this is all the stuff that we're forced to think about and forced to hear from the media and the narrative that's put in front of us, that these things are what's tearing our country apart, and people are dying all the time because of these... I don't think those are the real issues that the average person cares about. We're forced to care about it because it's what's put in front of us all the time. And we're forced to have an opinion on it because we're constantly asked about it or it's shoved in our face. The system is working. When in all reality, we should be more focused on the things that keep us in the system or keep us in that machine. And how can we really break out of that? And I think Tom McDonald summed it up so perfectly in this song. Like, I'm literally going to have to re-listen to this song multiple times because he said a lot of stuff in there that I literally pretty much all agreed with. I know I say it a lot, but it might actually be my favorite one that he's done. And that's just such an important message. Again, I don't know how you can actually argue against that. I mean, when you look at what's happening in our culture, in our world, again, I guess you could argue that because we're only able to see really through the lens of what is put in front of us by mainstream media and media outlets or Disney, all the big corporations that are provided in that, that are in cahoots with everybody else. But he's so right. The internet used to be a place where you could try and get information out there or at least find different information and find other people that are maybe thinking slightly differently. And that just seems to be going away. Or now it's just you're one way or the other. You either agree with me or you're trash. And that's not really an argument or even a debate. That's just yelling at each other. It's, it's, we're not thinking anymore. We're just reacting and doing what we're told. I mean, I think it's I think it's TikTok, honestly. It's just boring into our brains. I don't know if it's actually TikTok, but it might be. I had to burn that app. Took too much of my time away. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about this song. I absolutely loved it. Loved the message. I'm going to listen to it multiple other times. And let me know if you guys have had the same realizations that Tom has here. Because I know I've thought about these exact things a lot. Especially recently as things just seem to be piling up and piling up and i do think though if there's a glimmer of hope is that there are people like tom and there are a multitude of other people out there i'm sure hog family included that realize it's a thing this is real it's not just some conspiracy theory delusion you can just go out there and plainly see what he's talking about anyway a little bit into rant but let me know what you guys thought really enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts in the comment section don't forget like share subscribe go to that subscribe button if you would that'd be fantastic and as always you're awesome peace out Oh, 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 oh,